Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning light on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to invoke the methods using the base class type in when we have an object of the derived class. All right. The first thing that we're going to do is for the demonstration purpose, we're going to create a class. So it's going to be person and this person class is going to have a public member. So it's going to be the access specifier public and we're gonna have a function and let's call it as introduce so this introduce is the method of this class person and here in this introduce method we're gonna say hey from person all right let's end this line okay now we have a class called person and we have a public method called introduce the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, create a class called student and we we're gonna inherit from this class person so it's gonna be class and the student and it's gonna be public inheritance so it's gonna be public and then the base class name which is person and here we're gonna have a public meta and let's say we're gonna override this introduce meta so i'm gonna copy this and i'm gonna paste it here in the derived class or the class student and i'm gonna say hey from student so now we have a base class you know which has a method introduced and we have another derived class you know which is uh, inherited from the base class and we have overridden the base class method in the derived class and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna build a function you know outside these two classes and let's call it as void who's this you know this function is going to take a parameter of type person so it's going to be person and let's say p right in this function who's this what we're going to do is we're going to call this introduce method so it's going to be p dot introduce all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to create an object of this class student in my main function so it's going to be student and let's say anil and then i'm going to call the introduce method so it's going to be introduce using the object anil and then i'm going to call this who's this function so it's going to be who's this and i'm going to pass anil as a parameter so what is going to be the output so now all of us know that you know this anil dot introduce is going to call this introduce method of this class student that's because you know this object is of class student and we have overridden the method and that's why we get hey from student and then we are passing the object anil to this who's this function you know which takes the person type and you know since this anil is a object of this class student and this student is derived from this class person that's why we can pass that reference of this derived class to this function and when we do that what happens let's see i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this and you guys can see here hey from student that's from this uh, derived class into this function and then we get hey from person all right what happened here is you know you know this who's this function is gonna take a parameter of type person at that time here anil is an object of this class student and student is derived from the person and that's why you know when we use the base class type to call this introduce method you know it's gonna call the method which is defined in the base class which is in the class person and that's why we get hey from person so this is how you guys can invoke the methods using the base class type here we can uh, do this by using a pointer also so i'm going to change this one to pointer p and we need to use the arrow operator and here we need to pass the address of this anil and i'm going to save this i'm going to build and run i guess the same result hey from student hey from person and also we can do this by reference also so we can have ampersand symbol here and i'm going to remove that here and i'm going to change this one to dot so now also you now we're gonna get the same values or the same result hey from student hey from person so this is how you guys can invoke the methods when you use inheritance using the base class type in c thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial